Deadly violence rocking Long Beach. A man described as a war veteran gunned down while he was doing yard work. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf live with the latest on this investigation. Matthew. Alex Christine, police tell us tonight that one person has been arrested, possibly in connection to this shooting. Now some are wondering if this shooting could be related to others recently. It's dangerous because we don't know what's happening everywhere. This is where the shooting took place. Another deadly shooting in North Long Beach. This time a man killed while neighbors say he was doing yard work. We just pretty much heard the shots, about 10, 15 shots, and then we heard a car speed off. They were pretty rapid altogether, just straight 10. Bop, 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 bop. Police Thursday evening investigating near the corner of 61st and Lime. They tell us two people were shot, including the man killed, and detectives do not think he was the target. A woman on Instagram identifies the victim as her 51-year-old uncle, a war veteran who just retired from the Army two years ago. He was out here doing yard work, and then he got shot in the head, and somebody else got shot in the legs. Two weeks ago or three, they were shooting by my street. This neighbor holding a garage sale Friday, now scared to show her face on camera. We used to walk with my uh, neighbor in the park, but we don't do it that anymore because it's dangerous. Two weeks ago in Long Beach, a 37-year-old married father of two gunned down by possible gang crossfire. The victim, a popular street vendor known as the corn guy. Also in Long Beach last month, a 17-year-old girl shot dead while walking home from work, killed right outside her family's home. Authorities tell us these three shootings are unrelated. It's a little dangerous to come out, like around the evening. Not that I'm used to it, but I've been around it a lot, so, I mean, it doesn't bother me. Authorities tell us they're still investigating in this shooting as well as the other two. Anyone with information is urged to call police. We're live in Long Beach tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News.